Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nankrainer. Today's story is DDoS records already broken. Last week I recorded a video warning you about a huge GitHub DDoS attack, which was approximately 1.3 terabytes of traffic. And this attack was apparently due to a amplification, a UDP amplification attack, but one involving a service called Memcached. In any case, I have a small update this week. According to Arbor Networks, one of their customers, which remains unnamed, suffered an even bigger DDoS attack that grew to 1.7 terabits of data per second. This also leveraged the memcached UDP amplification attack. And just to remind you, UDP amplification attacks take advantage of two things. One, UDP, which is a protocol you can easily spoof. That means the attacker can pretend to send a packet from you, and thus the reply will come to you. The second issue is some UDP services uh, return a whole bunch of data even when the packet you send with the request is relatively small. According to the researchers studying the memcached issue, uh, just sending a small packet can result in a return packet that's 10,000 times the size of the original. So it's a great amplification tool for the attackers. In any case, we don't know who this new victim is, but we now know that DDoS attacks have grown to 1.7 terabits per second. One other interesting uh, note about both this new attack and even the old GitHub attack, as researchers have mentioned that when they look at the packet capture of the attack, there's actually a ransomware note. In the packets associated with this attack, researchers have found the attackers asking for a certain amount of Monero, basically around 18,000 US dollars. Now, of course, if you're a victim of these attacks, you should never pay the ransom, especially in this case, since all the attacks are using the same wallet, so it's hard to know how the attackers can even differentiate between their victims, unlike ransomware, which actually has specific private keys. Anyways, just thought it was an interesting update to the previous DDoS story, and we'll continue to update you if there's any new relevant things that come out. That's it for today's news. Thanks for watching.